great to have you back. So then, did you all hear about that Arasaka aircraft carrier docked in Night City called Kujira or Whale? Apparently, the Corps figured it wasn't safe in Japanese waters, afraid some local fishermen might harpoon it for scientific research. But honestly, it's quite the power move. Wonder what Militech will respond with. Maybe Myers will fly a rust bucket. Tired, bored, powerless, not anymore. Experience all of Crow Manticore's 16 new flavors and mix it up! Welcome to N54 News. I'm Jillian Jordan, and this is the latest from around the world. The Lunar Rimskaya uranium mine collapse that occurred just outside Novosibirsk in southern Siberia has concluded with a happy ending. As you recall, 35 miners became trapped deep underground following a high-magnitude earthquake. But thanks to their Suze Lake 2 hibernation implants, the miners were able to survive without access to food and fresh water for two weeks. Fortunately, after their rescue and following <coughs> for technical evaluation, the miners were able to immediately return to work. Mm. Moving from below the earth to above it, Militech has announced plans to establish a new colony on the Red Planet. The proposed base will be subdivided into three areas, industrial, scientific, and residential. Ten residential modules are already available for purchase at a starting rate of 100 million euro dollars. Yep. A hefty price, yes, but can you truly put a price on your security? In New Mexico and Oklahoma, a new bout of unrest has erupted in the wake of suicide blasts at NUS bases. President Myers has also blamed the Republic of Texas for the attacks. Ah, Republic of Texas. Well, hello there. All right, and let's uh, get back to the game.
Okay, meet with Jackie is the next mission. Hey there! Hey V, Regina Jones here. If you're looking for work in Watson, give me a call. How'd you find me? How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. Could even call me a collector. Later, V. Roaches. New around here? Well, hello there. and theatrical performances in the no tradition. The sponsor for the festival is the Arasaka Corporation. And in an exciting development, even Hanako Arasaka has announced her participation in the Dashi Parade. From all of us at WNS News, we wish you a safe and fun Matsuri. Enjoy yourselves, Night City. After the break, cyber psychosis, myth or reality. Stay tuned. See what you got. What I like to hear.
exactly. Hmm, collect your gun. Thought I just did. I'm confused here. Collect your gun from Wilson. I bought a gun. What the hell is this shit? Oh, wow, this game is annoying right here. It's like, it should be pretty simple. Uh, uh, hell? The hell? No. No way. Sorry. I, I can't. I, I, no.
is one of the few diseases that cannot be cured by replacing the affected tissue with infant technology. Substances and biodyne have created nanites that, when injected into the spinal cord, provide long-term uninterrupted repair to the neural tissue. Alphabet's cutting-edge therapy treatment has been listed at 700,000 euro dollars per month. For the second consecutive week, the landfill inferno in the remnants of Atlantic City continues to rage on. The 10,000-acre dumping ground ranks among the world's largest and contains both toxic and biological waste. Already seven firefighters combating the blaze have died and another 40 have suffered. Oh, 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 oh. Sit down, let me finish this. Then we can drop in on Senor Vector. Mentioned something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right, or just had a brain fart? Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet ass J-O-B. Go on. I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but. Just that he's fronted by a little-known someone named Dexter Deshaun. Oh Only the top fixer in night fucking city. Fat-ass black Jesus <clears throat> of the afterlife. 300 pounds of partly gold-plated coup. Dexter Deshaun? What's the latest spec on him? I know you got info to spill. He's been off the grid for about two years. Word on the street was he took a little vacay. Two years? That's exile, not a vacation. What was he up to? Uh, guessing he shoved pizzas in his mouth while jerking off <laughs> the hardcore virtues. The important thing is he's back. It's a fresh group. Found us. So what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Our Lord and Savior wants to tell you everything himself. Face to face. Well, no pressure, but uh, this whole deal? He's riding on you now, I see. All right. Let's hear what old Dex has to say. Set it up. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong. Don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is a little bit of his own. Don't get me started on fixers. They catch a client. Find the cheapest gong to do the job, then drop that corpse at a landfill. Shit. Hit the nail on the head, V. Gracias, Dios. Oh, yeah, no. Run your wheels. Give them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our, uh, dust up with the scabs. Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. Top-notch work Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. So we rolling or what? Let's feel this factory new ride. Don't tell me that's a Gucci dress. First stop. Easy on the gas, huh? How's it going? I just ate. I was supposed to stop by Vix anyhow. I got a date. Me and Misty. You don't say. She's so sweet. Really gets me, you know. Oops. That's not a shortcut, is it? I don't think it is. Uh, maybe it is. Let's see. How you like the game? 
Uh, it's, it's pretty good so far. It, it's really just the very beginning of the game, so I didn't do too much yet. See, this isn't the right. <laughs> I goofed up. Oh boy. Wow. Any bugs? Not yet. I mean, I'm doing the PS5, like, it's the PS4 version, but on the PS5. I read that the PS4 on the PS4 is, like, really buggy, but the PS5 is, like, all right. And that's, so far, that's my experience. What you saw there wasn't a bug, just my dumb ass going the wrong way and getting stuck. <laughs> About a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right or go on? <laughs> Only the top fixer. So what's the gig? All right. Dex is a real deal when it so that's kinda cool. Since I did it before I can just skip ahead. So oh, really? still oh sure. Your wheels. All righty. Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. Top notch work Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. So we rolling or what? Let's feel this factory new ride. So my only comment is the driving map wasn't so clear for myself. Easy on the gas, huh? I just Because you see there it shows like the target. But yeah. supposed to stop by Vix anyhow. I got a date. Me and Miss D. Don't say. I like the games that have like little arrows on the road. Really gets me, you know. Alright, so I can't go down there. What the hell is this? Stay out of my way. Really? What the hell? It's parked in the middle of the road. Hey. Ah, oh, I see the top right corner shows me where to go. Well, there you go. Now I understand. Whoops. Alright. Up here. Hey, ten cuidado. All righty. Yeah, this is it. Come on, B. Find me once Vic's done dusting your circuits. We'll hash out what Dex has cooked up for us. Sit tight over here. Me and Misty got a little catching up to do. Hmm? You look pleased. Because I am. Always. Not a crazy living. You. But. We got a new job lined up. Oh. Is it going to be dangerous? Don't you worry, young one. But you are not. <laughs> Hmm. 
All right. Vicky Looks like I'm getting upgraded. It's good hmm. to see you. Maybe. Good to see you too, V. Oh wow. What do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig. Had to jack into a client's neuro socket. Think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. The whole kit and caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Met a new fixer. He gave me a job. Name's Dexter Deshawn. Known quantity from the afterlife. No denying you're moving up. But something you're not telling me, Vic? Keep your guard up, that's all. I've heard some things about Dex. He's not as chill as he makes himself out to be. Need some new kit, but tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean, hitting the major leagues. Any tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later, with interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time. You hear? Chair, please. Sit down and relax. Kuroshi Optics. Best I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. Now, Jack, in. You peruse and choose while I scan. See what's going on inside. Hmm. Oh, boy, now let me check this stuff out. Hmm. money do I got? Only two fifty eight. All right, I'm brand new, so I ain't got enough money to buy anything, probably. Your items, vendor items. Oh, yeah, this is all too expensive for me. So, now what?
Yo, how do I get out of the screen? So yeah, some of this game is not intuitive because like right now I'm pushing circle to get out. Triangle, square, X, circle. Touchpad. How the hell do I get out? Do I have to choose what I want to get, which was the eyes? Hmm. What the hell? This part's annoying. I don't know how to exit. What am I supposed to do here? Just said browse. Hmm. This is crazy. Oh, wow. What the hell? Well, wow, this ain't fun. What the hell am I supposed to do? Well... That one's highlighted. All right. Mark okay. one, like I said, decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. Nice. Just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Almost everyone on my list is playing this game. This oh. Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. That major league arm of yours right here. So, what's new in the life of Victor Vector? <sighs> yeah, if I'm being honest, not much. And that's fine with me. I used to live in a world where all that mattered was who's who, what's what, and how's why. And what happened? One day I just dropped it and never looked back. I'll never be a legend in this town. I've been sleeping nights ever since. Just like that. Thanks. Now, a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Feel anything? Play by play, though? Really, Doc? Makes it sound like a dentist. Always going on and on. Don't be mean now. Remember, I'm old. Got a shaky gannic hand. It could slip. Lights out for a minute, all right? Okay, let's test this. See the magic in action. Alrighty. Let's see. First upgrade. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Your vision, low contrast, glitches. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? Seen more dramatic improvements before. Patience, kid. Give it a minute. Time for the... 
the scanner. Huh. It might take you a few seconds to adjust, but first time's rarely the charm, <laughs> with anything, really. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. I'd also inject an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er-do-wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er-did well. <laughs> it ought to work like a charm. <laughs> now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new site. How about the neurovirus from the last job? Can you check it? Done and gone while we were putting in your implant. And a full sweep on your soft and circuits. Zap the critter. You're certified bug free. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. <laughs> whiffs. What am I looking at? A mild stem should boost neurotransmission in the short term and muffle some of the side effects while the implant takes. Thanks again, Vic. You're the best. I owe you. Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. And once you hit the big leagues, don't forget where you came from. Got. Who's winning? Hernandez. You know, in the old days, that cripple Malone would have been flat on the boards. No, every last fighter's got extra skull lining. Absorb 75% of every blow. Got cash riding on this? Nah, just looking. <laughs> it's out of habit more than anything else. Miss it, don't you? Ah. Uh, How's biz going? Uh, can't complain. Corporals learn to keep their distance, and Sokka's back hiring lone mercs. They all gotta have the newest, shiniest implants. Good thing you got Misty here to help. Handles your griping well. Yeah, hmm? renting out her shop's the best decision I ever made. You know what? Seems like you're the only person in Night City who's happy with this lot. You get to a certain age, you drop all your illusions. Life just gets easier from there. Hmm. It says pet, but I don't see the cat. Oh, there she is. How's it going? Hmm. Your heart chakra looks a little out of whack, babe. I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. Anything red. Hmm? V, yo, listen up. Talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us up. Not only. What are you. V, listen, I've got this delicate matter. That's why I called you. The number of cyber psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now, that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me. For a few reasons. There are people who say cyberpsychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tack hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. Hmm. 
All right, let's see. Uh, lethal takedowns. Hmm. Eh, we'll meet with Dex first. Right here. <laughs> What's up, big man? Yo, Mr. V, a pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bangle? Would you rather live in peace as Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without <laughs> seeing your 30th? It's first place or no place, Dex. Cost isn't a factor. <laughs> Classic. I'd expect nothing less from eager, supple youth. Respect. All right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scab home. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. A biochip, to be precise. Jobs to grab it. Simple. Yeah. <laughs> Guessing it belongs to a court. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. <laughs> Corps don't deserve special treatment. Shit. <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of eddies. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolving with that. Second, a rendezvous. Simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. Client? What's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End of convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. <laughs> Got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, convoy carrying the flathead. A little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high-grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, a.k.a. Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. 
To add to this shipstrom, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Who's the prima donna? Corpo agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter. So she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. I think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. Jackster, talk to Dex. <laughs> yeah, Gordito's a big deal. Literally a nod, yeah? Guy certainly knows how to protect his biz. Wants to put us on a few small kinks. Prep work, I guess. Before lining us up a big job. There's this combat bot, military prototype. Maelstrom clept it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the Gangoons had a switch up in management. I right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deeds of some Militech agent, too, but... I don't know how much help she stands to be. Ha! <laughs> Chingon. You don't sound thrilled. Royce. What do you know about him? He's fucking whack something special. Junkie snort junk. Royce snorts chrome. Then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. They must know what he's doing. So, how you wanna play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? I say we knock on Maelstrom's door first. Pound, actually. What I lay. In that case, I'll hit the all foods. Put my nose to the ground. Stick around. Hasta luego. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Z-Bug show any sign of life? You two talk? She's up to date, fired up to work with Dex. Baron already. They're familiar, you know? Worked together before Dex took his break. Then an arch? Oh, damn. What a beaut. Yeah, got her cheap, too. Dorset job dividend. Hmm. Then I could scrape together enough for that beast. Even used. Well, I, I took out a loan, but muy pequeñito. But I mean, it's totally worth it. Then an arch? Ah, oh, damn. Yeah, got her cheap, too. Hmm. Uh, well, I, I... Been waiting long? Mi madre always said patience pays off, so... So Dex already paid the Maelstromers for the Corpo bot. Thing is, can't be sure the Gangoons are still willing to hand it over. He paid up front? Ejone. Well, whatever. Let's go get this tech. You skip yet? You got a plan? That shit can go smoothly. This is Maelstrom. Gang world ain't too complicated. Might's right. The strong survive. Either you fuck others, or you get fucked. So, into the Borg Beast Den. Let's go see these bastards. All right, let's knock on their door. See if they even open up. I hate these Borg fuckers. Had to be them. Just a gang like any other, right? Oh, what? Take the Valentinos. I didn't worry, get out. Where is this dude? Oh, we're walking. You know what they want, how they get it, and what pisses them the fuck off. With Maelstrom, you just never know. Go on, let them know we're here. Ding ding chom. Gotta get this done. Ring a ding ding chom. Gotta get this done. V, what you waiting for? Hmm. V, what you waiting for? Ding ding chom, gotta get this done. Hmm. What do we do here?
what you're waiting for. I'm a new player. I don't know what to do. V, what you waiting for? Call me Asian Mary Beth Stout. Hmm. Aha. Ring a ding ding chom. Gotta get this done. Want to talk to Royce? Dex sent us. Main room. We've been waiting. Uh, cozy place. They could use a few plants, though. Oh yeah. They look damn well prepared. Don't think I've ever seen security like this in a Chow factory. Gear from the Jack Convoy, gotta be. Must have been all over it like maggots on dead meat. Anti-personnel mine. Directional shrapnel spitter. My favorite. Subtle. to see Royce. We got biz to transact. Mr. Royce is busy just now. You will deal with me. You got a bot. Model MT0D12. Called the Flathead. And? The hell you care? Guy I represent already paid brick for it. I'm just here for the pickup. I can talk direct to Royce if necessary. Nah. You talk to me. Name's Dum Dum. Now couch, planet. This ain't gonna end well, but... Shit. Well... All right. Come on. Got to lighten up. Take a hit. What is it? A skeef. Shit kicks you in the ass. It's a fucking rush, man. Gotta feel it for yourself. Come on! Give it a whirl! Thanks, I'm good. Whatever you say, straight edged princess. Here we go. A flathead. Model MT Zero D12. Need to see it. Suit yourself. Fucking tricked out this thing. Dynamic thermal optic camo armor. Full cognitive immersion with a Raven controller. Dim down prototype actuators made of titanium vanadium Kevlar composite. And watch this. Fully integrated link too. 
So when the spider starts crawling up walls, dangling from ceilings. Mm -hmm. Could lose your lunch. So what you think? Yep, we'll take it. Three. Sure. Yeah. Let's see your cred. Brick got it. It's all paid up. Brick got it. I don't see any fucking brick around here, do you? I'm talking to you! Come on. Can't expect me to pay for this thing twice. And who the fuck are you to say what can and can't be? You'll pay twice because I say you'll pay twice. All right. You want the flathead? I better see some eddies. Asked you. Seeing as you already got the eddies for it, you ought to offer us a discount. A big one. A discount? Fuck. You know, you never did say who sent you. Never did say who you're working for. Dexter Deshawn. That's who. Dexter Deshawn. The lord ass who punching animal fucked half a Pacifica? <laughs> Maybe he ain't dead? No. He's alive, well, and kicking. And he sends his regards. So you're gonna consider my offer now? Bang. Bring it, cocksuckers! Cut me a rat! A load on a beat! Come on! Where's it going on? Good! There we go. off. Damn! Grab the gear. Bot and control shard. Quick! Got the set, bot and controller. Let's go. To the bed. Let's get out of here. Diamonds, fresh air. Oops. Damn it. What the hell? It's a production line. Plus I thought you loved me.
All right, now what? Shit, shit, shit. Can be bullets. Oh, 
You will find the running! Just a matter of time, oh. motherfucker! You know who you're messing with? Got him! Not far now. Sword time again. Oh shit. Oh, hello. Not far now, I see. 
Since it's close. Ah, uh, there's free supplies to pick up here, dude. No begging, no debt, no corporal strings attached. And the flathead's ours. <laughs> That's the way to do biz, V. Uh, sometimes it is, sometimes it is. Got lucky today. Well, ain't you a ray of sunshine? <laughs> but V, it ain't a matter of luck. You decide. Remember that. Love this town, the city of endless opportunity and brotherly hate. Mm. But if you got the cojones, 
And you know how to use them? <laughs> you can do damn near anything. Unless you catch a boat. Stray or not. Even then, you go out with a bang, right? And the street'll talk. The street'll remember. What now, Jack? What now? Now I go back. Find Misty. We do something to make me feel alive again. They could have shot us up good back there. No two ways about it. That's a big dude. <laughs> Risks come with the job, Jack. Ducked in time to avoid death sweeping sight again. Only right to celebrate. Even though we get to do that lots. Don't forget to let Dex know we got his toy for him. Hey, Loewe. How things looking, Mr. V? Got the bot. And how'd it go? Run into any trouble? And what about the Militech angle? Sure, of course there was trouble. Royce couldn't have given two shits that you and Brick had shaken on. How'd you get him on board? You use the Corpo woman? Did it without Melitech holding my hand. Didn't want to risk it. So how'd you get that cat Royce to hand over the flathead? Mm -hmm. Only way I know that always works. Brute force. You got some balls, Mr. B. What about the meet with Evelyn Parker? Still on the to-do list. Mm -hmm. That meet's the only thing that'll get you a chance at grabbing that chip. Parker will be waiting for you at Lizzie's bar. Good luck. Hmm, so what's the blue thing? I don't know. Side mission, maybe. I'll go to the bar. turn Mind fuck Looking bar. A little put out there, input. Interest you in a preem BD? What do you got? What don't we got? Women and men of your dreams. Synaptic acting A-listers, no washed up virtue porn boy toys or blow up dolls here. Oh, tur stuff. It'll grip your heart and blow your nerves right out of your body. Pure bit-based ecstasy. That's why people come here. Clearly know how to sell it. Not a sales pitch, it's a warning. I'll give you one word. 
bespoke. Not for everyone's synapses. Think you can handle it? Bespoke? Damn, that sounds promising. I get it, I'm in. Mm-hmm. Couple of things you need to know first. <clears throat> Severe penalties for any unauthorized recording. No drugs, no groping. Someone mm. catch your eye? You do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. I really look that green to you. Like I don't know. Mm-hmm. Doors open. Mm. Have fun, input. Welcome to Lizzie's. Mm. My, what a sweet little face you have. <laughs> My, what a sweet little face you have. Life is full of disappointment. Yeah, no surprise there. Maybe you can tell me about it. Hey! What the fuck? Another round over here, Stan. Hmm? So, what can a morning girl like me do for a hundred? I have a tiger, babe. Maybe I'll let you see. Hey! Get you something. What's on the menu? I'm looking for Evelyn Parker. You know if she's here. Who's asking? Just answer the damn question. You seem a little tense, Chumba. Go grab a box. Might take the edge off. Have fun, relax. Find me once your mood's improved. I'll serve you a drink then. It's all right, Mateo. I was waiting for this one. Evelyn Parker. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Since on, only tequila I drink. <laughs> How do you know? I like to know everything about the people I work with. Either that or it was just a lucky guess. Why are we meeting here? Any particular reason? Actually, it doesn't seem much like your thing, this place. Mm hmm Hmm. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. Come on. No place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. Anyone asks, we're not here. This one's a candies. Nothing's You'll wrong. Feel us really? F why don't you just tell me the truth? It's fun. I just told so, you. you on the other side.
Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. You don't give a rat's dick what Dex thinks. We both know that. You have trouble accepting compliments? No, just think flattery's beneath you. Am I wrong? Maybe Dex is beneath you. Have you known each other long? Just started working with him, in fact. I've heard there are two kinds of fixers. Those with stable crews on long contracts and short leashes. Loyalty and predictability they value above all else. Then there's the other kind. Dex's kind. Come on. Can't leave that hanging. Headhunters. They lay their trust elsewhere. Not in people, but in a thing. Their intuition. They bet on potential. And if they lose that bet, it's the last mistake they ever make. I'm hoping Dex's intuition has served him well in this case. Let's cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka. Making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? You know, just never rolled through that neighborhood. Damn shame. The fresh they serve is sinfully good. Chef must have made a deal with the devil. So where's this chip hiding, exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? He's in town? Don't you read the scream sheets? The media couldn't get enough of Yori coming to Night City. It was all over the headlines. Anyway, he's heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son. What? So Arasaka Jr.'s planning to grab the reins while in Night City? Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Telling me you're one of them? Top dog like Yorinobu's bound to have an army on call. Hotel's probably a goddamn fortress by now, too. Yorinobu keeps exactly no hustle around. Not one guard. Got rid of them a long time ago. Huh. Why is that? Surely you know what they say about Arasaka Into. Sneeze in Night City, and a blossom drops from a cherry tree in Tokyo. Yorinobu was convinced his Arasaka security detail reported directly to his father. Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now, this should make your prick perk up. Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch. Aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Wait, Mutual Netwatch is mixed up in this. Netwatch provides net security for all corporations. And collects eddies in the millions for it. But, in this day and age, everyone's in the game. And no one can afford to be a saint. To win, one has to go all in. So, what's your Nobu do to walk away with? Unimportant. You focus on the biochip. What could cyberspace's watchers and protectors offer him? Intelligence on his enemies?
That doesn't matter in the least. Because you'll make sure the transaction never happens, and I get the chip. Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device, because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now, where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is... You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. Okay, what's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. I think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits. Jacking off to in those boxes. No. It can be a very useful tool. Uh -huh. no. Good no, for no, 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 analyzing you... details, uh, human perception, even boosted. It. Doesn't grasp exactly what you need. So what's on the tape? Yorinobu's suite. The glorious interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Hold up. Mean to say you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? Supposed to be Yorinobu's pad on the tape. Means you were inside. You know each other? How else could I get all this intel? I know him pretty well, actually. We have an arrangement. Strictly business. Suits us both, I think. Let's see this brain dance. Judy will help. She's a mox, too. Besides, we go back, uh, mm -hmm. years. V, this is important. Judy's always been there for me. Always helped out. Yeah. I trust her. I said I'd come. But she's a mox. Not the latest member of your crew. Try not to forget. So, you'll be a good boy. Tread lightly. Mm -hmm. And keep that tongue on a leash. Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. <clears throat> hey, there you are. This is V. He's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. Impressive looking setup. Need all this to process brain dances. Mm hmm. Analyzers, sensory SIG amps, acoustic and emotive wave monitors, facial expression translators. <clears throat> Judy. All right, all right. Compiled your beauty yet? What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw, but yeah, ought to do. Mm hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to him. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. You should see the jig-jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So, we drop V inside. Let him look, let him rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? What do you mean by raw? How does this differ from the ready-mades? Huh. Ready-mades, provided they're well-made, should feed you feelings and impressions you'd never have the chance to experience yourself in real space. But it's mass-market shit, so it's pre-crafted, hard-coded, fenced in, and manageable. A raw one? Well, it's more like a virtue in Viro. Get to move around, look at things in detail. Editors use those layers to fish for juicier emotes and impulses, then use them to pad the BDs that go to market. Sit down, settle in, and we'll get you going.
Gotta create your sensory profile first. Okay. Hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. Now sit still. Look at me. Gonna run the analysis off. Should feel a slight tingle. Mm hmm. Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory sigs. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. Am I gonna have to do this calibration dance every time? Not necessarily, but it's worth the wait. Give me two more minutes and you'll see exactly what BD analysis is capable of. One more sec. Need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay. All set. I need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample BD. You can use it to get to know the editor. Now let me see. Where could we... Can't he just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks? Size won't take a sec. Got something here. Should be perfect. Boot it up. Mm-hmm. Let me give you the tailored version first. Let you get your bearings. Then we'll jump into editing mode. Be diving in in three, two, one. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. I want to see you kissing the flooring! Money! Now, or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God! Whoa! Yeah! Uh, hey! Uh, now! Before I blow your fucking head off! Blockers. Nothing happened. You're alive and well. That flash of intense shock. I can still feel it. I remember. Fuck that last second. Could have warned me how much it hurts to die. Trust me, real death hurts much, much more. Not so sure about that. You'll be fine. Got everything set up? Let's switch over to editing mode. I'll sever the link to the BD Roller's sensory array. You'll be able to look around freely. Whole scene's yours. Full cam control in analysis mode, so move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. Think of it as your own little sandbox. So, analysis mode, you control playback. Can even pause when you feel the need. Then you use the editor console to unpause. Try it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. Dream as hell, right? Well, that's not all. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. Give it a try. Rewind. Roll it back to the top. All good. Neat. Now try fast forwarding a bit. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go win, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Okay. You can also reset the recording. That'll take you right back to the beginning. Try it. Now for some fun. This here's why you came in the first place. 
In analysis mode, you get to view and even scan details of the enviro recorded by the BD roller. Focus on the heat, the gun this gonk gets from his buddy at the beginning. Now scan it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Okay, right here. Excellent. Let's move on. Now, heads up. In analysis mode, you can ferret out background noise and conversations if the roller got close enough. This tech records everything, every little detail, even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of. To see the sources of the recorded sensory signals, switch to the audio layer in the editor. Go ahead and try that now. Okay, good. Now you should see several sound signatures in the store. Choose one and hone in on it. On you ah, little shitheads! Go restock. I'll take the register. How about you suck a bag of dicks, eh? So, any thoughts? Unbelievable. Seriously. Like what's happening right next to me. Yeah, it's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. Keep playing with the sound, explore it a bit. We'll move on when you get bored. Go restock. Six, I'll take the register. And a How about you suck a bag of dicks, okay. eh? We have a deal today on two flavors. Cuddy and yeah. Serpent. Everybody! <laughs> Sometimes you can analyze extra layers in the raw, stuff the roller's cyberware picked up. Like what? Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared, meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures from her recording. Huh. <laughs> Hello, nice. Now let's wait till the guy punches out the gonk at the counter. On the ground! I wanna see you kissing the flooring! Money! Scanning works on peeps, too. Walk up to the wounded chick. Try scanning her. All right, next thing. Scroll forward to the part where our artist gets a lead injection. shot him and he never saw it coming but you will here it comes my favorite part of the game see the blinking thing over the entrance surveillance cam must have caught our shooter you'll see in a sec cam feeds to the screen behind the clerk roll back to where the screens in the kids field of vision then scan it
His own Chumba shot him. Probably planned to all along. Must have got a nice slice of cred on the black market for a BD like this. BD freaks are ready to pay a preem for a real flatline. Anyway, if you've seen enough, you can exit. Right? It's too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. Anyway, you ready to do this? Look at your wreck? No way. Let's take a break. Still feel like that kid when... Oh, yeah. I think I'm done. V, there's no time. Get it together, please. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Just need T-Bug to link in. Whoa, 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 who? Running for my crew, security specialist. She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. No problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Not what we agreed, Ev. Evelyn, I won't get a damn thing out of this without T-Bug. Judy, please. Ev, he wants to bring a runner in? What part of that don't you understand? How do I know she'll only purge in this footage? Observe, not fuck with anything. Me. I'm your guarantee. Yeah, right. Help me. This one last time. I promise everything will work out. Just like we planned. Okay. Call T-Bug and we'll dive in. Hey, V. What's happening? Bug, listen. I got some useful footage from Compecky Plaza. It's a brain dance. Compecky? Oh, I thought as much. Someone there with you? Unimportant, T-Bug. Please focus. Need your help. Got no clue what I'm supposed to look for once I'm in. All right, see if I can walk you through it. Jacking into your tech now. Mm, you've got to give me access. Opening port 1779. Secure protocol? Good, I'm going in. Should be getting my request... now. Got it. You ready? A millisec. Okay, connection confirmed. Now some quick tip ice, and we're clear. Ready to dance. Fire up, Judy. got it under control quick, too. I said, no. They'll have my head for this. Then, you shall perish for a good cause. But, uh... Make yourself comfortable. I need a minute. Listen in on that conversation, V. Could be something important. Finish. We shall see soon enough. I need a minute to finish. The program is still in the trial phase. We cannot take it to market as is. We shall see soon enough. Please speak with your father. He's taken a particular interest in this project. He can certainly explain the risks. My father is a tired, visualless old graybeard who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever in his tiny frozen bubble. I should not even be listening to such things. You will listen to Saburo is an adult despot, utterly removed from reality. Stuck in some fossilized vision of a world that no longer exists. Of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we won't now. Read the documentation carefully. 
The relic requires specific storage conditions. You must Not provide it. them. If Heard that? Relic docks gotta be around here somewhere. Look for them. Sorry to make you wait. Business can be stupid. Mm, it wasn't long. Not even long enough for me to grow bored. Is everything all right? You seem tense, edgy. A moment, it will pass. Mm, I can get to work on that. Just one condition. You wish to make demands of me. Only one. Focus. Oh, got any candy left? Stuff was pretty fun last time. Bedroom. Nightstand. I've got an idea. Be right back. already just a sack looking for the perfect thing ah you'll like this I miss this. You. I know. Manual details a special tip controlled container. Relic needs to be kept real cool. So, chips gotta stay in the freezer. Yep, could damage it otherwise. Okay, switch on thermal layer detection in the editor. Should be easier to spot where your Nobu's keeping the chip. Geez. Looks like Mr. Arasaka had something to celebrate. You really think you'll find the chip in there? No way. Tim's too low. Could fluctuate. Nice try, though. I'm not going to stay here. Face. 
Right, grab the heat sig. Matches the spec in the docks. Yorinobu's got the case here. Guaranteed. Mm-hmm. We got it. Good work. Looks like we got everything we need. Quit out of the editor. Up oh, and the first crash that I've ran into so far. Hmm. <sighs>